Now, in this problem, you are given with x of t and y of t and you are asked to find and plot the product of x of 1 minus t and y of t by 2. So, for that, for the product, to compute the product, we need to draw x of 1 minus t and y of t by 2. Now, what is x of 1 minus t? It is minus t plus 1. So, we know the law of precedence. The shifting has to be done first. So, it is x of minus t plus 1. So, x of t plus 1 I will do first. Then I will take the reflection. So, x of t plus 1. x of t plus 1 is shifting x of t left by 1. So, here my x of t extends from minus 1 to 1. Now, when you shift it left by 1, it will extend from minus 2 to 0. So, if I plot it like this, minus 2, minus 1 and 0, my waveform of x of t will look like this with an amplitude of 2 here and with an amplitude of 1 at minus 2. So, this is my x of t plus 1. So, what do I have to do next? I need to take the reflection about y axis. So, I will have x of minus t plus 1 or it is 1 minus t. So, it is taking mirror image over y axis. So, I will be getting the waveform will extend from here the waveform is extending from 0 to minus 2. If I take the reflection, it will extend from 0 to plus 2 with the same amplitude of 2 and 1. That is 2 here and 1 here. Now, I will read out the same here. This is x of 1 minus t. It is extending from 0 to 2 with an amplitude of 2 here and amplitude of 1 from 1 at 2. Now, the second waveform which I need to draw here is y of t by 2. Now, what is t by 2? It is scaling by the factor 2. That means my waveform of y of t which is extending between minus 1 to 1 with an amplitude of 4 between minus 1 to 0 and then declining ramp finally getting an amplitude of 2 at 1. This will be expanded by a factor 2 that means my waveform will be present between minus 2 to plus 2 so y of t by 2 will look like minus 2 1 and 2 so it will be amplitude of 4 till here and then amplitude of 2 at now, if you multiply these two, see to the left of uh, x of 1 minus t, you have no waveform. So, 0 minus this waveform will give you anyway 0. Now, the product will be x of 1 minus t into y of t by 2 will be like at 0, you have see at point uh, minus point 1. Here the amplitude is 4, but here the amplitude is 0, so it will be 0 anyway. At 0, here the amplitude is 2, here the amplitude is 4, so I will be getting an amplitude of 8. Now that will not continue, but there will be a discontinuity because this way from x of 1 minus t, he is having an amplitude of 2 from 0 to 1, whereas y of t by 2 will is a declining ramp and it will go to 2 at 2. So at 1, what will be the value of y of t by 2? See, at 0, it is 4. At 2, it is 2. Then at 1, it must be 3. So, at 1, the amplitude here is 2. And here, in y of t by 2 is 3. 2 into 3 is 6. So, at 1, I will be getting an amplitude of 6. So, it is again a declining ramp. At 2, here the amplitude is 1 for x of 1 minus t, for y of t minus t by 2, the amplitude is 2. 2 into 1 is again 2. So, at 
2 I'll be having the amplitude of 2 here at 1 the amplitude is 6 here the amplitude is 2 then finally both the waveform waveforms go to 0 so I'll be getting a waveform which looks like this now this problem is about expressing x of t in terms of g of t that means this is the final waveform which we are supposed to get and we need to express x of t in terms of g of t now I can split this waveform which is extending between 0 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 from 2 to 3 2 from 1 to 2 and 3 from 0 to 3 as these three waveforms g1 of t g2 of t g3 of t whereas where g1 of t is this waveform extending from 0 to 3 and g2 of t is waveform which is extending from 0 to 2 this waveform this part of the waveform I'm talking about g3 of t is this waveform so if we add these three will end up getting this waveform because I'm adding this waveform this and this together I'll get x of t now how do you get g1 of t from g of t now see g2 of t is same as g of t it is having an amplitude of 1 and extending between 0 to 2 so g2 of t this is g of t directly now how do I get g1 of t from g of t see g of t extends from 0 to 2 I want it to extend from 0 to 3 with the same amplitude so what do I do is first I uh, compress this and then I'll expand so if I want to compress this to 1 what do I do g of t has to be compressed so I'll take g of 2t it is g of t divide uh, the time scales get uh, time scale gets divided by 2 so my waveform will extend from 0 to 1 with an amplitude of 1 now I want to expand this to 3 so what do I do I divide this scaling factor by 3 so g of 2 by uh, 3t will be this waveform here g1 of t so why do I scale it scale down to 1 then expand is it is easier for uh, for me to multiply with 3 with 1 so first of all if you are given with any waveform try to compress it to 1 then you can expand it to whatever value you want to so if it is 2 I did g of 2t so it got compressed to 1 then I multiplied by 3 so we get expansion from 0 to 3 now say say for example if you had uh, this waveform and you had to come expand it to 5 what do you do you give g of 2t and then divide by 5 so this is this g1 of t is g of 2 by 3 t now how do you get g3 of t that is extending from 0 to 1 from this it is nothing but the half of what we have done here half of the operation which I have done here it is g of 2t that means I am compressing this waveform which is present between 0 to 2 with an amplitude of 1 to 0 to 1 with the same amplitude. Now if I add these three together I will be getting my x of t. So my x of t is g of 2 by 3t that is g1 of t then g of t itself then g of 2t. So the the, if you add these three waveforms together, you will be getting this. So this is how we represent x of t in terms of g of t.